What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down Jarvis Landry and his route running ability. He's one of the best slot receivers in the game today. We're going to talk about what makes him so special. And guys, please leave in the comments who you would like to see me break down next. I'm taking all requests. I would really appreciate that. Let's get started. So this first clip here is going to be against Richard Sherman, one of his more recent routes. Okay, now the main thing I want you to see is how he's able to get Sherman to open up this gate. Okay, he probably has safety help over the middle, which is why he's opened this gate so easily. But it's still man, so it's probably like a two man look. I'm assuming so let's watch this thing full speed then we'll break it down so hesitation one two get those hands off of him restack him in and out of his break snap down catch this ball and then let's get up field so let's break this thing down so off the line here i want you to watch this left foot he kind of takes this little hesitation move so foot in the ground here little hesitation because sherman's off a little bit okay it's a little bit of this catch technique good base he's for sure in man coverage but he's not right up on the line jamming him okay he's got some space to work now he goes one two to the outside now when he goes two i want you to see how he's got a plan for this opposite hand right he's bringing this opposite hand up right now he's in a good explosive position with this foot he's going to push off that inside arch but his head and his shoulders are going to the outside that's what gets sherman to open up that's what gets him to open up this gate here now man coverage right so he probably wants to get him to the sideline all right he probably wants to force him or not to the yeah force him to the sideline that's probably what he wants to do here but he's taking an inside release and you see he's attacking the back of his elbow with his off hand that's a point of control guys we got to get that point of control off of him because what's he going to do see he opened up the gate here but if he doesn't have a plan for this hand sherman will be able to get hands inside of his frame and then get hands on him with the opposite and then be able to play this thing and knock him off his route but landry does a good job of working him to the outside having a plan for this opposite hand attacking the back of his elbow then keeping this opposite arm tight this all comes from repetition he doesn't swing this thing over because that exposes his rib cage and sherman will be able to pop him right inside there but he keeps his elbow nice and tight and now when he gets to this position he just doesn't go straight up into this route and then make this average break he restacks him he gets into this position he restacks him here so sherman's on his back hip that's what we want it to be now when he makes this break he's in and out of this thing as fast as possible three steps so that first step here snap down he's in this explosive position i know it's kind of tough to see but he's dropping his hips he's bringing his chin to his knee now his second step right here angles him back across the field on this dig angles him on that almost 90 degree break and then that third step here he's pushing off of that last step good shin angle to get him straight down this line right here change direction fast because at this point right here it's all a race and without sherman having hands on him he is not going to make this play if he's out of the break as fast as possible like he is accelerates out of there pumps his arm catches this ball and then works up field. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. We're going to hesitation, double step to the outside, head and shoulders, then restack him. So here, one, two, hands off of him, restack, one, two, three, in and out of this break, catch this ball, and then let's get up field. So here he's going to be working a goal line fade, and he's going to be, this is, a, this is why you be a salesman. As receivers, you want to be a salesman. Let's watch this thing full speed, and then we'll break it down. So coming off, sells the block, kicks up into second gear, gets all the separation he needs, high points this thing, then two toe taps for a touchdown. So he's selling. I'm assuming we got a little. Yeah, we got a little bit of play action, as you can see right here with Baker going to go play action. So he's got to sell like he's just blocking, you know, lazy receiver. That's what he's trying to act like right now. Looking back at this play, DB knows, OK, he he's not he's not going to be running a route. But the DB actually stays pretty disciplined. He looks inside for a split second, and that's what gets him. Jarvis Landry kicks up into second gear at the stop of a dime, right on a dime at the drop of a dime. That's what receivers got to be able to do. We got to be able to slow play, kick up into second gear and go. Now, this is all he needs right all the separation he needs jarvis gets this opposite hand on him to be physical he tries to recover he's fighting those hands you want to pretend like that db has crap underneath his fingernails and you don't want him to touch you that's all the separation you need in the goal line with a great receiver like jarvis goes up catches this thing at its highest point that's what we got to do anytime we're giving a jump ball receivers and then toe taps for a great catch great job being a salesman let's watch this thing full speed one more time so coming off, sells his block and gets him to look inside for a split second, kicks up into second gear, high point, toe tap for a touchdown. Okay, so this is going to be the same scenario, except now he's running an out, but he's going to be selling like he's just working a block. I'm assuming they got play action going, so let's watch this thing full speed. So block him, get those hands off, accelerate out of the break, and then catch this ball. The main thing I want you to see is how well he accelerates out after he makes this move. So he kind of walks off, selling like he's going to block, wants to get hands on him, gets this DB sitting right here, you know, lulls him to sleep a little bit, then he's physical with these hands. He attacks him right here and this isn't pass interference because the ball isn't in the air yet it's just being physical so he gets those hands off of him gets him off off balance and now in this point i want you to see guys anytime we make a move at the top of the route whether it's a stick whether we're snapping down we got to accelerate out of this break so what does he do gets the hands off and he accelerates out of there at this point 
Like I said before, it's a race to the ball. Ball's coming here. He's going to get there first. Jarvis will get there first. If we take care of what we need to do at the top of the route and we accelerate out like he does, we're going to catch his ball. Now, one thing I want you to see, catches this thing out away from his body, and he's looking it in, right? Catch this thing. Look it in. You're not going to drop the ball. You should be able to tell me if there's laces or no laces every time we catch it. Looks it in. Now he's worried about getting upfield. I would like him to look it into the tuck, but he's such a professional that he's done that a thousand times in the offseason to rep that. That's a great job by Jarvis Landry. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. I'm selling like it's just a run play, a little walk-off release. Hit him with the block, be physical, come out of this thing, accelerate out of the break. So walks off, hit him, accelerate out, catch this ball, and then let's work up field for a great job by Jarvis Landry. Okay, so now he's going to be running kind of an op and an out and up here. So let's watch this thing full speed. So he's coming out, bam, one, two, three. Eyes, head and shoulders to the outside, accelerate out and catch this ball. Let's break this thing down. Apologize for the poor quality of this clip at the beginning, but I didn't want to leave this out. So when he makes this stick, he's coming off the line here. So one, two, third, third inside step here. Again, head and shoulders to the outside, making everything look the same. Now, what I want you to watch is his head, and I want you to watch his body on this out when he sells this double move. So he starts to look back, just this little glance right here, this little glance committing his shoulders for three steps. So he's got that first step in the ground right now, right? Three steps on this out and up. One, two, three. Head and shoulders right here, explosive. You can see this explosive position of his leg. He's pushing off that inside arch. That's how we generate force, the inside of your foot is going to give us force in the direction that we want to go, right? Gets this DB to bite, accelerates out. Now, he's in this position. He is not looking back for the ball. He's got such good chemistry with his quarterbacks, receivers. we got to have that. He knows Baker's going to put some air on this thing and let him go run it down. So he accelerates out and doesn't look until he knows he's got him beat by about five yards. In certain situations, yes, it differs. But in this situation where we beat the guy completely, we don't want to look back too soon because we pop our pad level up and we'll lose speed because you see he's running trying to catch up. But because Jarvis took care of what he needed to at the top of the route accelerating out he's able to keep that separation and then he's able to come up field right here and catch this ball that's a great job by Jarvis Landry working this double move working this out and up route let's watch this thing full speed it's coming out one two three one two three head and shoulders to the outside peek back catch this ball over the top for a big game one-on-one -on -one. that's a great job okay so now we're going to talk about that same peek back technique again so he kind of gives this one two release off the line let's watch this thing full speed then we'll break it down so one two Peek back for the ball, snap down, catch this ball, and then we're coming out of this thing. That's a great job getting to the sticks as well. So he comes off here, nice slow on two to the outside, okay? And main thing I want you to see is how sudden his feet are right here. He's starting off slow, bam, quick feet. Quick feet. That's the definition of sudden feet, being quick and being explosive. Head and shoulders a little bit to the outside. What does that do? It gets him to just step. It gets him to open up the gate enough to where Jarvis could attack that outside. Gets him flat-footed, right, because he's explosive with his feet. Now he's here. DB does a good job of getting hands on, but now what does Jarvis do? He starts to look back for this ball to sell like he's just maybe running the seam right now. They're gonna um, Quarterback's going to drop this ball right over the top. Jarvis is going to be able to run it down, so he's peeking back, and now he just sticks and comes out of this thing. This is called a peek-back technique. Great job. Great way to get separation on an out route maybe a dig route looking back for the ball stick because see what it does it gets him to expect like he's going over the top opens up his hips commits his hips upfield stick in the ground and again he's accelerating out of the break because you can see right here he this is a race it's a race to the ball ball's coming here who's going to get there first receiver or the db and he's got to accelerate out of this break pump those arms catch this ball again looking this thing in i want you to look at that looking it in not peeking upfield too soon catch this ball look it in right to the the tuck let's get upfield for a great job getting some separation on that out route against a much bigger db against a good db let's watch this thing full speed one more time it's so coming off one two head and shoulders to the inside peek back stick accelerate out of the break look this ball in on the catch and then get out of bounds for a great job so now he's going to be running a squirrel route here now a squirrel route is where you go out up and then back out or on a comeback kind of angle on a 45 degree angle. Now, the main thing I want you to focus on is this is a setup. So they probably this game run an out. They probably run an out and up. And now they're going to be running a squirrel route. Okay. So the squirrel route is we're going to watch how Jarvis does a great job of selling the fade. We got to, we got to sell the fade. I can't stress that enough. Let's watch this thing full speed. So coming out, one, two, three, sells the vertical, one, two, three, four.
in and out of this break. DB cannot react to that if we're out of the break faster. So main thing I want you to see here. So stick. He doesn't even worry about selling this out. He wants to make it look like a lazy out and up. So he's here going on a lazy out and up, puts his foot in the ground three. Now he's pumping those arms. He's got a good pad level. He's in this blind spot, right? DB has no idea where he's at, so he's got to turn out of there. He's got to have a feel for Jarvis. So he's selling the fade. He's doing a good job of carrying this thing out. Now, when he gets in and out of this break, I want you to look at that first snap down step right here. He snaps down with the inside foot. Normally on a comeback, I like snapping down with the outside foot, but you can go inside foot. It's just one extra step. So he goes snap down here. Again, bringing his chin to his knee. That's the right snap down technique. Aggressive hips right here. Very aggressive hips. Two, three, four. And he's in and out of this break. Now that first step. So one, two. Where's it at? It's angling him back downfield. Now, I really want you to watch this third step, how much of an angle it has back downhill. So now this fourth step can turn his hips pretty much all the way. He snaps that head back around, and he's accelerating out of the break. We know where we're going to break. The DB doesn't. So if we can get in and out of this break fast, we're going to get this much separation right here and even more, especially for you guys at the high school level. And he accelerates out. He kind of gets stuck at the top right here. As you can see, he kind of pops this pad level up. He doesn't really drive out of there because he knows it's a longer developing play, and the ball's going to be out right now but on a normal comeback we probably want to accelerate and drive out of that break a little bit catches this ball toe taps and gets out of bounds that's a great job by Jarvis Landry working the squirrel route let's watch this thing full speed one more time so coming off here sells the vertical one two three four in and out of this break snaps the head back around catches this ball toe taps and get down for a great job okay so he's going to be running a dig route right here the main thing i want you to watch is the stem no wasted motion on this let's watch this thing full speed so this is obviously it's obviously zone coverage right here clearly zone i want you to look mainly at the mechanics of the route so he's coming off here bam no wasted motion at the top, accelerating out of this break because he knows this ball's coming late second window so he can't cruise so he's coming off here Takes this pressure step up on this stem. Okay, now he's going to take it up for three steps. So he's going here. One, two, three. Sudden stick to the outside. Toe straight forward. He's exploding off this inside part of his leg. Head and shoulders to the outside. Keep this DB and keep this safety over here honest. Safety's a little bit farther over. And now what I want you to see here is when he comes out, he's not looking for the ball right away. He knows this ball's coming second window, okay? This is called reps. We've got to have reps with our quarterback, reps with our offense, and that's what's going to help us in these kind of situations. So he's got his head down. He's pumping those arms. I want you to see he's accelerating across the field. He's not cruising. He's not sitting right here with his pad level up saying, oh, quarterback, throw me the ball. He's accelerating to that second second window coming straight across the field balls coming catching this thing in traffic again what i want you to see is looking it in everybody loves to show all the one-handed catches you know but these are the routine catches that a lot of high school guys don't make okay because they don't understand got to look the freaking ball in you got to look the ball in with your eyes you should be able to tell the quarterback if you see the laces or no laces and then right to the tuck that's how you catch in traffic you catch and then you protect this ball right to the tuck catch in traffic that's a great job by jarvis landry looking this thing in accelerating out to the second window of the throw because he knows he's probably not the primary read, right? Tannehill's looking over here. He knows he's got to come back across the field. He's waiting to be in that second window. That's a high IQ receiver right there. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So coming off, stem up, one, two, three, sudden stick, accelerate out. Let's get to that second window, catch, look the freaking ball in. That's a great job. Okay, so now he's going to be running this stop route. Now I want you to see how fast he's coming off the ball and the least amount of steps that he gets in and out of this break with. So let's watch this thing full speed. So coming out, one, two, three, four. Coming out, stop route, being able to go full speed, sell like he's going vertical, right? Sell like he's going vertical. He's got his head straight down, good pad level. He's pumping those arms, selling like he's going vertical right now. Wants the DB in a backpedal, wants him on his heels. Now, when he comes out again, that first step, aggressive hips, bringing that chin to his knee, fast hands, fast feet, okay? It's tough to snap down and be in and out of some kind of break. And this earlier in Jarvis's career, he's a much better route runner right now, I think personally. But getting in and out of this break, one, two, three. Three and see how that third step's angling him back downhill. This fourth step right here, he takes a little extra step. He kind of slides. He might be a little tall in his pad level, but he's still pushing off this inside arch. He's still angling those feet. The mechanics don't change. He could have gotten in and out of it a little bit faster. He had those extra steps, but it's a stop route. He just catches this ball, sits in the window for a great job. Gets in and out of this thing, least amount of steps. Sells the vertical, one. Two, three, four. Angles and back downhill. Let's watch it one more time. Selling the vertical. One, two, three, four. In and out of this break. A little bit of a slip here, which gives him a little bit extra steps. That's a great job by Jarvis getting in and out of this break. Least amount of steps possible. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So sell the fade. One, two, three, four. In and out of the break. Fast. Got to be fast. Fights for those extra yards for a great job making this play, getting in and out of a break. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, please leave in the comments who you would like to see me break down next. That would really mean a lot to me. And please subscribe to this channel. That would 
also really mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys next time.